Uh, hey everyone, so today we are going to solve uh, the palindromic problem. So basically, uh, if we just look at the problem, so uh, you know what the palindrome basically means. Uh, just let me explain first of all, if you don't know, uh, just give me a second. So if you uh, look over here, like they just give you the example one to one. So basically, uh, if you look one to one, so one to one means like palindrome basically means like uh, if you uh, uh, re reverse it from the last, then it will come one to one again. So it, it does not matter if you swap it from the last, so it will come the same. Like uh, you, if you take uh, the another example, the an another example could, could be like if you take A, B, B, A. So if you just uh, uh, palindrome it, so if you just reverse A over here and this one go over there, so these are the quite same thing. So uh, it does not matter. Like uh, it, it is palindrome. So yeah. So let me just raise it. All right. Let's come to the problem. So basically, uh, if you carefully look over the problem, then they they just mention like <coughs> we have to uh, print true or false if if it's palindrome or not. So how we we'll gonna do is 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 quite simple, it's not too hard. First of all, uh, uh, like I used to do is like I will convert the integer into the string. So how will I, I will gonna do is I will get a string um, str equals to string dot value of value of x. So yeah now what i will gonna do is like uh, i will uh, uh i will uh, if you look over one to one then i will start from uh, i will start one from the left index and one from the right index so i will start i will create two variables one 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 will start from the left index and the another will start from the right index so like why i'm doing is because like uh, they uh they like the left one and the right one they both will check whether uh, we are same or not i will show you the dry run as well so let, let's just first write the code so right now, uh, what we will do is uh, we will create int left index equals to zero and int right index equals to str dot length minus one. All right, so yeah. Now guys, what, what we're gonna do is we will uh, create a while loop li less than equals to i. We are not like uh, till then, we will run this loop till then uh, the li and ri is, is less or like not equals okay so like if, the, if they both both become equal then the loop loop will obviously end so yeah so now well what we have to do is we have to uh check particular uh value so like we have to uh, remove every element like for example one to one one to one is a combination but we have to check one with the last one so how we're gonna do is we will use the help of care we will create care uh left equals to str dot care at li so from here the uh, left one will come out care at ri so guys from uh, by doing this the right one will uh, come out as well so now what we're gonna do is we will check if left not equals to right then what we're gonna do is we will return false and guys we will gonna uh, increment the left index and we're gonna decrement the right index so in the end we will just return with that false so uh, i think if we run this code it it will run it's saying all right so just give me a second yeah I hope it is fine now. Uh, what's happening? It's showing this error. Yeah, so it's all done. I I did a very, very stupid stupid mistake. So, uh, so basically, it's quite simple. Like, uh, let me show you the dry run. If I will show you the dry run. So guys, as you uh, as you can see, we have this left index one two one. Okay, for example, we take li and we take ri. Okay, so 
left index is this one right index is this one okay so now uh, what will happen is we put the while loop till like uh, they both they, they both don't, don't meet each other we will run the loop so what this care left will do is it will uh, remove this one one from here and the ri1 will remove this one from here and if they will check like if if they are uh, equals then it will return true if they are not equals then it will return false and guys like after do, doing this they have to be uh, increment the left index has to become over here the li has to become over here and the ri has to decrement so ri has to become over here all right so uh, now they will check for the two the two is uh, like is on the like now they both are on the same so after this they will exit the loop and they will uh, return it as true so this is quite simple so i hope you understand uh, let me just submit it yeah so it's pretty good and easy as well so i hope you will like this video so please hit the subscribe and uh, share this video i will keep uploading lead code all the problems so thank you guys very much for watching this video